Let's speak now to Ophelia Calderon. Uh, she's in Fairfax, Virginia, and she's a founding partner at Calderon uh, Seguin PLC. She's also an advocate for the immigration community. Thank you so much for joining us here on TRT World. Um, your reaction, first of all, to the US Special Envoy for Haiti, Ambassador Daniel Foote, resigning. I mean, obviously, that this, this probably speaks volumes about what he, what what the thoughts are about our actions and the actions that we're taking on the border. I mean, the images that we've all seen and that are being replayed um, of Customs and Border Patrol agents rounding up Haitian migrants is horrific, obviously. Um, and I imagine that um, continuation in this manner is just, is, is just fueling conflict within the administration. And it's such a challenging time uh, for Haiti right now after the earthquake, the, 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 pr the president's assassination. Why send them back now? I, I mean, you know, I think, well, obviously, I don't believe that they should be sent back, at least without not without some sort of individualized processing um, and screening for their cases to make de individualized determinations as to whether or not um, they should be able to apply for uh, refuge, refuge here, I mean, asylum, essentially. Um, I mean, I, I think a lot of this is about uh, our political will. I mean, the American political will, political will is not, um, is not pro-immigrant. This isn't new. I mean, that is a large part of how Trump, um, how President Trump managed to get into the White House. You say that American political will is not pro, pro immigrant, but uh, President Biden, isn't he supposed to have a, a different policy? Well, I mean, the American political will includes more than President Biden, obviously, right? I mean, if if the Americans, if the American populace as a whole understood um, how broken our system is, not just for purposes of of a crisis like this, but also just in general, right? Then by now we would have had comprehensive immigration reform out of Congress, and Congress is elected by the American electorate as as it or the American population, and and so I mean, I think we're talking about two different things, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that President Biden wants to do the right thing. I just think that there are a lot of factors involved, including pressure from multiple sides as, as, it, as it relates to um, refugees at the border. I, I mean, it, honestly, the border is a polarizing topic, even for people who possibly recognize, you know, how how dependent our economy is on, on immigrants and how outrageous it is, um, the external factors, right? I mean, I, I, this is a tough question. I mean, to be honest with you, I, I have uh, struggled with this a lot myself. I think Americans cannot expect the United States to be a beacon of liberty for, uh, and freedom and then not expect people who are suffering as the Haitians are, and even those in Central America, to come here and to be drawn to that light that we claim to be. Indeed. Ophelia Calderon, thank you so much for speaking to us today on the News Hour on TRT World. We really appreciate your expertise.